The world is now like a continually sounding tribal drum. Where everybody gets the message all the time. All the time. Uh, photographs. So Marshall McLuhan is famous for a lot of phrases and statements that we use every day. Um, information age, that's Marshall McLuhan. Global village, that's Marshall McLuhan. The medium is the message. Uh, he coined all these phrases and ideas back in the 60s that um, maybe people didn't quite understand or, or were only a one-dimensional um, sort of idea. But now, with uh, the internet and the information age, all of those ideas take on a new meaning and take on a fuller meaning because sort of Marshall McLuhan was a techno prophet. He predicted all these things coming true now, which is why more than ever he should be famous again. And really his ideas should be famous because um, they help us understand technology. So a couple of his famous things, Global Village, that's one that's uh, really popular and um, he's just saying that as technology wraps the world in electricity and as information becomes immediate that we are becoming a global village, a um, giant worldwide tribal group. And um, Marshall McLuhan also liked to use the words tribal to describe how groups emerge in a technological context because when information flies at you from every direction immediately, McLuhan is saying that creates tribes. Um, almost like we like to think of the uh, stereotypical, you know, jungle tribes with spears and, you know, huts and, uh, and stuff like that. Marshall McLuhan is saying that's what electronic media does. It creates tribes just like that. And um, Global Village is one of his phrases he used to describe the, um, the world wrapped in electricity, moving at the speed of light. Um, another popular one, you know, the medium is the message. This is maybe McLuhan's most famous statement and um, what he's saying is that irregardless of the content of any medium, it's not what the medium contains. Um, it's what the medium does to you just because of its inherent effects. So for example, some people like to say that television is bad because it shows murder and violence and horrible things. And then other people say, no, 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 no. TV's not bad in and of itself. It's, it can be good because you can show good things on it. You can show, um, you know, positive stories and, and, and stuff like that. The Hallmark Channel has good TV, maybe. But um, what Marshall McLuhan is saying is that the content of that medium, um, in comparison to what the medium does, is like the difference between uh, an atomic bomb and the words that are stenciled on the outside of the bomb. Um, that's what Marshall McLuhan thinks about the content of a medium. So the medium is the message. What McLuhan is saying is that the content of the medium doesn't matter. The medium, what it does to you, that's the message. So he would cite examples like television. Well, what does television do to you as a medium? And um, I'm sure you know there's an entire book about that question, um, but McLuhan says that you know the medium itself radically affects you regardless of the content. It doesn't matter what you talk about on the phone, the fact that you're using a phone so shapes you and changes you, that's where you should be thinking about how this affects you. Not what you watch on TV, but that you watch TV. How many you have, how often you watch them, how much you, you take in the media. So the medium is the message, that's one of Marshall McLuhan's most famous statements and perhaps the one that um, we should most think about, especially now that we take on and adapt new mediums so readily and without really thinking through their consequences. So how do we understand a medium. How do we get to know what the message of a medium is? Uh, Marshall McLuhan suggested that there is a good way, a sensible way to think about media and to think about different types of media, cell phone, telegraph. Um, he would uh, put a lot of things in the category of medium, newspaper, clothing, sidewalk, rugs, I don't know, everything to McLuhan is a media. Um, and he suggested a simple way to think about um, all media is called the tetrad, and if you can remember that, um, that's a really important uh, thing that McLuhan came up with, which is really unique and pretty revolutionary. The tetrad, it's like this, all right? It's this little plus sign, and on each side of the plus sign, you've got four different categories, four ways <clears throat> to think about a medium. Um, the first one is that every medium retrieves something. So each, each block here has a certain 
meaning retrieves, um, obsolesces, <clears throat> reverses, and enhance. So those are the four parts of the tetrad, and we'll just go through them briefly. So the first one is retrieves. Every medium retrieves um, some ancient practice. So that's the first thing he's saying. When a new, a new medium comes out, um, it's not really new. It just retrieves a method, a, uh, a way of doing something, a way of being that in past history was done. Um, so for example, uh, the television maybe retrieves um, the idea of uh, the powwow or something. Um, cell phones um, retrieve an ancient practice. Um, everything pulls back from history something and adapts it in a new way. So that's the first one, retrieves. Um, the next one, obsolesces. This is maybe something that more of us think about now that technology changes so fast. Every new technology makes something in the past obsolete. Um, so for example, you know, now MP3s are making CDs obsolete. Before that, CDs made tapes obsolete, and tapes made records obsolete, and blah, 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 blah. But uh, bottom line is that regardless of the specific type, every medium makes something in the past obsolete. Um, maybe a more poignant example is um, the internet uh, is making newspapers obsolete, right? I mean, um, newspaper sales are going down the drain because so many people get their news either from, you know, internet news sites or just from watching TV. Uh, you know, all the mediums are destroying the old mediums. They're making them obsolete. And I think McLuhan would say that every new medium makes something else in the past obsolete. Cell phones are making landlines obsolete. Um, there's tons of examples of different, uh, different ways that this happens. So that's the second one. First one retrieves, the second one obsolesces, the third one reverses into. And this is, I think, a real stroke of brilliance for McLuhan because he's saying that any medium, if you push it to its extreme, if you keep pushing it, take it to its logical end, to perhaps an overuse, it reverses into and does the opposite of what it was intended to do. And um, we could call that the revenge effect, maybe. Um, every medium pushed to its extreme destroys itself, short circuits its intended use. Um, so an example I really like is cell phones. Cell phones uh, give you the ability to bridge long distances, to have conversations with family and friends um, wherever you are. So you don't have to be at home and, and say, hello operator, get so and so on the phone and um, you know, spend a million dollars doing it. Now it's so easy to have that connection with people who live far away because the cell phone allows us to bridge that distance. So the cell phone, you know, its intended form of media, the goal was to bring people closer together, to provide a shortening where there once was a long distance, to bring us closer together. Now, ironically, push it to its extreme, everyone is griping now about cell phones, cell phones and driving, cell phone interruption, oh, everything is beeping and buzzing and, you know, there's ringers, you know, churches starting, please silence your cell phones, the movie's starting, hey everyone, turn off your cell phones. And uh, ironically, cell phones now do the opposite. Instead of bringing us closer together, they push us apart. They fragment us. When was the last time you were out to lunch or in a car with someone and halfway through a sentence, the person's phone starts ringing and uh, your relationship with them is immediately fragmented because of their phone. And um, the cell phone now is doing the opposite of what it was intended to do. It was intended to bring us together and now it's pushing us apart. And McLuhan would very much say, that's of course, I could have seen that coming, uh, McLuhan would say, because every technology pushed to its extreme will do its opposite. It reverses into and short circuits itself. And I think that's a really brilliant um, way of thinking about it because it allows us to consider when a new medium um, is getting popular, how do we determine its effects in the future? Just imagine it being pushed to its extreme and seeing it turn into its opposite. I think that's a really interesting way to think about it. And then the last part of the tetrad, a little you know, square here, is that um, every medium enhances or amplifies some aspect of our humanity or society. So, you know, like I was saying earlier, um, a wheel enhances our feet or our, uh, our legs. Um, everything uh, enhances something about our humanity. And um, that's a good way to think about it too because it reminds us that all medium and all technologies are extensions of ourself. And McLuhan would say that um, the electronic media we use are extensions 
of our central nervous system. And if you've ever had a day where you sat in front of the computer, watched too much TV, and were interrupted by a cell phone every 20 minutes, at the end of the day, you feel exhausted. You feel unprivate. You feel um, stretched thin. You feel overcommunicated. And those are all symptoms of having your central nervous system be um, attacked too much. And that's because of uh, an overuse of electronic media. So that's the fourth part of McLuhan's laws to think about media is that um, um, every medium enhances or amplifies some aspect of our humanity or society.